Hello, 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 dude here coming in again. I search to bring you another video of War on the Sea. Oh man. Well, it's. Oh, huh. well, there's one yawn as I start speaking. Find a moment to go. Heck, you know. Oh, we're yawning now. Let's see, how many Congos do they have left? One, two, three, four, five. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Five Congos left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, Yamato's left. Ah, air power. How I love you. I would love you even more if we could get lay. Oh, I don't want to, okay, well. Okay, well, Wasp is fine when it comes to planes. Saratoga is more or less fine as well. Uh, yeah, you're good. Hornet, good for dive bombers. Valderis. We're gonna send you. We're gonna send you back to get supplied. An Enterprise dive bombers are fine. Okay. Look, Doki. Okay. Oh, let's move. Let's move these fleets back since we know now the uh how our anti aircraft can be effective. It's not gonna stop strikes, but it'll definitely hurt them if not take them. Ooh, both the funnels are out. Wonderful. I want to try something. Yeah, it worked. Now I need everyone to turn their radar on. Okay. Need you to slightly turn. Okay. One. Two. Three. Four. Hell. Five. And you just target whatever. Oh, I gotta turn off the auto flag. enough turn okay like you guys are going for the destroyer so uh we have destroyer here break and speed up what you're already doing which is good I'm gonna attack you from the back it's not the worst option I forgot what anti air gun is back here that would cause that a little bit of a turn. Who are you going for? Looks like you're going for Alabama. Oh, now it looks like you're going for Massachusetts.
Change your targets. Why can't I cannot order you to go? Oh, we got the some of them as they're trying to uh the hell look them little 100s or 6 kilograms whatever the hell was whatever the hell the uh, secondary bombs are oh you're already all on it. Okay, that was a waste. Ceasefire. Okay, get done with the flooding first. Alabama, you looking good? Yeah. Alrighty. Retreat, yes, please. Okay, dokey. Good news. They are running out of aircraft by attacking the battleships. Um, no, no, I need, uh, where are you? Tallahassee. Merge. Oh. And you're just gonna straggle along with the group, and then when the attack comes, we'll just, you know, pop you away. Speaking of attacks, here comes the next. Oh, I forgot to pop her away. Well, whatever. She dies. She dies. Ever, ever since I've, I've watched, I've watched Grace still plays, and ever since he said that with uh oh, there was this what episode was it? Some form of game, a game, and he and he said, if he dies, he dies. It's like that's now stuck in my head. It did not. It wasn't recently either. So I already know they're attacking the uh, Tallahassee. Uh, I got 
take off the auto flak. Nothing won't target the correct ones that I order them to. Tallahassee is there. Is that your Looks like they're not going for Tallahassee. That should look like they're going for Alabama. Oh, it's the correct side gun. Wait, what? Her rear gun is fine? Oh, just those two guns. Okay. Maybe they're going for Red Shaw. Speed up. I mean, they are going for you. No, they're not going for you. They are heading for the other bingo. So who's targeting number three? Not have ABU, Indiana. You're now targeting two. Massachusetts, you're now targeting four. Alabama, one. Renshaw. Uh, target the lead plane. That will help greatly. And you're going to have to want to start turning away given how the formation is in that shape. Kill more, kill more. And the train towards would have been the correct way. Don't let them escape. You know, I wonder. I wonder if they could model the uh, different types of anti-aircraft, like for example, the 40 millimeters engaging at longer range, and then the 20 millimeters going in. Because if I remember reading, well, I say reading, listening to a uh, Mr. Kinefell talk about how effective, like ridiculously effective, the 20 millimeters were at slaughtering dive bombers. Of course, now, namely after they drop their bombs, but it will cause them to either drop at a much higher altitude or just get shot down. And well, the forty millimeters are the forty millimeters. I mean, I can understand that these are the anti-aircraft banks. <sighs> Which makes a lot of sense to me. Very clever. Like that is that anti-aircraft bank. Those are those anti-aircraft. 
batteries, I guess. And these are, what, these 20 millimeters? But then, like right here, nothing. Even though there's some bow, there's some bow force right there, some Orlikins there. I think I have another Orlikin right there. Can't quite see too well. And you got these bow force. So, it's a few things I'm not sure how they could do that. I would think they could if they could model the different ranges of here, but then again, it would be very tricky because then the. Hmm. Now I'm thinking about it balanced wise because at the end of the day, this is a game and it needs to be balanced somewhat. I can sort of actually see how that would be a bit ridiculous. So, No. Well, these guys are on the sea, so. Hi. I don't think they see my subs. So, we'll retreat. Wasn't too bad, honestly. And we just fleet did lose what a heavy cruiser. Yeah, only a heavy cruiser. And well, to be fair, I mean, Wichita is gonna get replaced by a uh, Baltimore. So, uh, not really a problem. <laughs> uh. I mean, the Baltimore, they're better in every single way. The anti aircraft fleet looks the same, which doesn't please me, but I mean. Really? She has more armor. A lot less deck armor. So I'll take the more deck armor. Baltimore does have a shake ton more secondaries. So huh. it's very interesting. I'm just waiting for the Japs to make their move. I got my submarines in position. I got my battleships in position. I got my carriers in position. You are... Yeah, Winfim. This fleet is... Going back... Why again? Well, I guess we can rearm, refill, and fucking replace some stuff. Okay, yeah, no. Speaking of replacement. Yeah, okay, good. I'm already sending you guys back. Yeah, so I got my sort of trip line towards Guadalcanal. Of one, two, three battleship fleets. My carrier is in a semi ring. Each with their uh, battleship and a nice surface combatant. Their own plus with the ability to launch aircraft if anything comes up. I think they have our stranglehold. 
Oh, and uh, how long is it gonna take for you to get there? 13 hours. Hello, how the hell did you get past that? And this is why we have scout planes. That force is running. We will send. You have two battleships. We will send this force to intercept via this route. And we're going to see what's in here. What do we got? A large line. Oyodos, Oyodos, Oyodos. Uh, a Tago. And a Congo. With more Akatsukis. Wonderful. Okay. See, the Akatsukis are a bit worrying just because they're Akatsukis. I'm probably going to start replacing destroyers with uh, Atlanta class cruisers <laughs> to deal with the Akatsukis because an Akatsuki is good. It's got four, or correction, eight um, 100 millimeter guns. And they fire fast. Really fucking fast. But I have Atlantis. Let's see how I can how can I augment Atlantis into my fleets? The Janet is one of the only destroyer well, I say the only destroyers. I mean Fletcher is well, having bigger guns of one of one two fives, so they only have five of them compared to the eight. So they're technically outgunned. And they're also out oh, torpedo. Sure, Fletch has ten torpedoes, but the Akatsuki has four long lances. Janet here, or Janet, or Janet, uh, has the eight five-inch guns. But I'm going to keep the Fletchers, obviously, because they're good. So I'll keep two Fletchers at least in the fleet, and then I'll probably replace them with. The Atlantis. We got plenty of Atlantis to do so, so it's not really a problem. So yeah, probably well, have three battleships. So normally what I like to have obviously is down here. Two battleships. Two heavy cruisers, two light cruisers, and normally four destroyers, but uh Well, they're gonna get Atlantis. Or I could throw in Cleveland's because the Cleveland's do have the heavy five inch loadout on for the secondaries. No, then that would split their fire between two ships. I don't want to do that. I can have a night engagement here. Release and repair. Oh, I need to do it like this. Confirm. Thank you. I wonder if it's following this fleet. Yeah, this fleet is also well. Ooh, this fleet is a, almost a full fleet. Oh, it has Indy. Awesome. Indianapolis is one of our more veteran ships. Oh, she actually has low ammo, though. Oh, and so do these. Break off. I am glad I checked that. Okay, so stand by. You're gonna be. Okay, I gotta pause it in order to do this. You're gonna be back here. We're gonna swap out. You're gonna stay there. And so, unfortunately, this fleet's just gonna have to run, run, run. Um. 
unfortunately spawned too late for any form of actual aircraft response. It was 17. Would have gotten there, would have been invisible. So I'm actually just, I'm actually, yeah, I'm just going to send you guys back to get rearmed. And you guys, I'm going to have to pull you back to the secondary trip line here. I don't like speeding up this fast without having any contact between enemies. Goodness, it is almost daytime. Okay, fleets are in locations. Okay. Pause. Who needed to be replaced? Okay, well. Rearm. And you got one battleship? I don't have enough to give you another battleship. Uh well, let's get you a new fleet here or a new fleet. Let's get you the Baltimore. That's what you need because you got the light cruisers. You got the two destroyers. Two light cruisers. So you need two heavy cruisers. Okay. Well, I got you a Baltimore and a Boston. Only 60 for two Baltimore class cruisers. That's not bad. Now, expect yourselves. You may only have one battle. We'll give you. We'll trade off. We'll give you a battleship from uh, some place. You can take Antarctica. Arctic Antarctica. Actually, no, those will be replaced by. That's going to be one battleship fleet as well. Um, I want to have two, but. We're going to send you over here for now, since it seems like where the enemies like to hang out or come into Guadalcanal from. I'm afraid to see where this fleet is. Air ops are available. Ha 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 ha. This is why. We have aircraft. Uh, 16 should do. And you're also going to go back on to a, you're going to go on a patrol here. Almost in range to bombard this. Um, right, there we go. Taking the wrong things. You know, I think about it, I should probably put the Atlanta on here, but. Pass two squadrons to each. Well, they're pretty fucking close. And you know what? We're gonna test the auto flak. They're very fucking close. 
Okay, fuck it. We're, you're gonna break off each target individual aircraft because that needs to get done. Because I can't. You're not gonna have time to run around to come around. You have one chance. I'm gonna have them just start shooting right off the bat, cause uh... Okay, so that's... how many do we shoot down? Not enough, in my personal opinion. Only one. You go for Pacifica. Okay, leave him. Ooh, that was a black hit. How did you guys miss all those? Yeah, those guys are heading for the destroyer. The Henry P. Jones. Start their dive. Turn you son of a bitch. Ooh. Whew. And that's why I put a carrier with this group. Now they're back on station. Okay, are we in range to bombard this? Uh, I need the fleet. Not you. Uh, we're gonna do. I need a fleet again. But doing it twice help. Wow, fucking no ass ammo. Okay, before him, what a waste! I didn't do shit. If that will work, bombard that and then um, head back. But yeah, it looks like Operation Surprise. It's me. It's a go. Uh, <laughs> the aircraft are going to get their work cut out for them. Now, where the hell is this fleet? I'll bet you this fleet is either over here or over here. Or they're still chasing Task Force 70, which I'm fine with, because when they get down there, they're going to be resupplied fully. I hope we will capture Lay soon with the amount of troops we have there. And they got a bunch of supplies and more troops coming in, so they should just fucking kick their ass off. 
Anywho, this is Tuta saying thank you for joining me on this Let's Play of War on the Sea. Stay safe. And as always, have an awesome, awesome, awesome day.